who uh, she is the CMO of Event High and the co-host and founder of Revolutionary Professional Women in Cannabis Networking Series, Blunt Brunch. But we know her as the woman who fled California for freer desert <laughs> landscapes of Arizona. Adelia Carrillo, what do you have for us today? Good morning, good afternoon. I'm coming back to visit in February or the end of this month, so I'll be back in California. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today's article is Jerry Garcia's Grateful Dead cannabis brand is leaving California. So Jerry Garcia is known as an, an iconic cannabis smoker in California. Born in San Francisco, Garcia led the Grateful Dead for 30 years as the city became an influent, an international beacon on counterculture. And he did it all while casually and openly smoking cannabis. His pot pipe is actually considered an artifact of California cannabis history, for those that didn't know that. But even the iconic Jerry Garcia name couldn't survive California's turbulent legal cannabis market. The Garcia handpicked brand launched by the musician's family in 2020 has pulled out of the state, a spokesperson confirmed to SF Gate. Garcia's exit comes as cannabis insiders predict a mass extinction event for California's cannabis industry, with thousands of companies expected to go out of business this year. Garcia handpicked, like most celebrity brands, contracted out its cannabis growing and manufacturing to partner companies and then stamped Jerry Garcia's face on the packaging. The company said they are currently looking for a new cannabis supplier, although they're still taking a pause in California. They want to ensure California consumers have the highest quality, California, uh, highest quality flower for the long term. So they are in the process of choosing a new local partner for cultivation, production, sales and distribution of Garcia handpicked in California. Um, they did interview uh, Andrew D'Angelo, uh, for those that don't know him, a cannabis consultant and former owner of Harborside, said that the Garcia brand probably learned the same thing that all the California cannabis companies have realized. You can't make money in this market. Now, California's cannabis industry has faced huge economic hurdles, which majority of us know, uh, from the state's complicated cannabis regulations, high taxes, limited access to banking, federal law blocks, etc. These factors have come together to make California a painful place to run a legal cannabis business. The majority of legacy cannabis farms are on their way out of business, and even the country's biggest cannabis companies are leaving the state. Now, nearly a dozen states have legalized cannabis by the time Jerry Garcia's surviving family members decided to start this cannabis brand built around the Grateful Dead frontman. Um, but the Garcias did still continue to choose to launch their brand in California, the same place that Jerry was born, spearheaded an artistic movement and died. The Golden State featured pr prominently in the initial launch. Um, they had an Airstream painted with swirling psychedelic colors crisscrossed the state in late 2020 announcing this brand. Um, and it goes into details about a couple other things that they were looking to do, but didn't able to, weren't able to accomplish, unfortunately. There is now only one jar of Garcia handpicked available in San Francisco, according to Weed Maps, and there's no sign that any more will return to the Bay Area. Um, now, Eli Melroyd, the CEO and co-founder of Soulful Dispensary Chain, said the brand's exit from California was a sign that it's a struggle for even good cannabis brands to make money in the state. He also stated he usually doesn't sell celebrity brands in the state um, at his stores because most celebrity brands have poor quality products. But Garcia was different. He said that they had good cannabis grown by the, some of the state's best outdoor cannabis growers like Moon Maid Farms and Sonoma Hills Farms. They start from a place of skepticism because they've seen a lot of celebrity brands launching cannabis that are really just basically a celebrity name on a product that is marked up. Now, the brand is still for sale in Colorado, Maryland, Michigan, Massachusetts, and Oregon. It offers a range of cannabis flower, pre-rolled joints, and some colorful pot-infused gummies shaped like guitar picks. Its packaging still features Jerry Garcia's face uh, connected to the swirling psychedelic colors. Uh, a Aiken to Milton's Glasser's iconic 1966 poster of Bob Dylan. And the Garcia's brand departure is also a sign that customers could be getting tired of celebrity pop brands. There are so many famous people selling weed that even the rock stars are noticing that it might not be easy to get into business. Garcia, uh, his handpicked brand isn't actually the first Grateful Dead cannabis brand. Drummer Mickey Hart launched his own pre-roll joint brand called Mind Your Head in 2019. Their website is also down and a brand representative's uh, couldn't really be contacted for this story. However, they say both these brands could come back to the state. But for now, deadheads in California will have to get by without smoking any cannabis blessed by the legendary brand.
So this is Adelia reporting live for the Hyatt Nine News Hour. Do you think we will see the return of these brands that are leaving California? 